Happening in just six hours from now, wrecking crews will demolish two homes next to a deadly sinkhole in Sefner. The homes were condemned a month ago, but were evacuated back in February. Our Jacqueline Inglace joins us now live in Sefner with the very latest on this. Jacqueline? Brendan, this home behind me and this one over here on Faithway Drive have been here for decades. But tomorrow, this block is going to look quite different. Fenced off, this area on Faithway Drive in Sefner has become a makeshift memorial over the past few months. Honestly, I didn't do any yard work or anything for like two months. It's a sight Vicki finds hard to face. One that's drawn spectators and national media after a sinkhole swallowed Jeff Bush alive as he slept in his bed back in February. We still have cars that drive by, stop and take pictures. Crews couldn't recover Bush's body, making this area where his home once stood his final grave. Now, neighbors say they want normalcy back and are hoping the demolition of these two homes on either side of the deadly sinkhole will bring it. Officials condemn both places in April. The families who called them home forced out forced to leave behind their friends, their memories, and most of their belongings. I feel sorry for them and everything. I grew up with them. Now, on the eve of the demolition, people who live nearby fear the same fate for their own homes. It's nerve-wracking. Because if you see a crack, like, like I saw this sidewalk, and I'm like, was that crack there before? Crews will be out here at 7 tomorrow morning. They hope to have this demolition complete by Friday. Live tonight in Sefner, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.